This is a short video to show the new Driver Buddy Defense eLock control platform. Um, here you can see the logon page, it remembers your username and password. Uh, once you sign in, the server is actually based in the US, but it knows which country you're in, so it brings you to the correct country. You can then see on the left hand side your locks are arranged into sub accounts as required. Here we'll select lock 40 and the map has zoomed instantly to that lock and given us information about where the lock is, server time etc. Now you can see 003 is already logged in and is showing green which means that the lock is working and functioning correctly and is sealed or electronically locked and here you can see 40 has just uh, logged on and it is blue which means that it is working correctly but is currently unsealed so instantly you can look at your locks and know their state red means that there is an alarm if we click on the lock it then opens the information screen giving us the lock id its location, the server time which is currently GMT, whether it's moving and its current status which is in standby which means it's unlocked and its precise positioning means it's GPS located. You can also see its battery status. If I want to seal the lock it's just a one click action. Within five seconds I can hear the lock sealing and on the left hand side you'll then receive the status bar telling us what's happened, seal success, the password required to unseal the lock and then this is stored in the database to be sent to the authorised user either by SMS or email um, if they're authorised to unseal the lock. Uh, once you move away from this screen that status bar disappears but if you need the information you go here to the lock report here you can see where the lock was sealed, its location its time, server time and the necessary password to unseal it. This is all automatically generated. Uh, notice now that both the locks are green, which means they're both functioning correctly and they are both electronically sealed. If we then wish to unseal the lock, you just click here and you'll see that these locks will then change, the status will change again Within three to four seconds, I can hear the lock unsealing. You can see the status report of unseal success and lock 40 has now turned blue to show you that it's functioning but is now unsealed. So it's just a short video to show you the functionality. The other elements such as reporting, GPS corridor um, setting uh, and other functions for the new platform are still being developed but I wanted to show you how easy that one click process is compared to the old platform. Any questions please just get in contact with me, contact details are here.